exploration closely in the mountains where many people remain without power and essential supplies. Some still can't get in touch with their loved ones. Our Dana Winter reports from Henderson County tonight. Thank you. Helen Pace handing out food to her neighbors, doing what she can to help. How many would you like? A couple? Take two. No, we have, we're going to get more. Helen and her family live off Highway 64, Chimney Rock Road. We feel like we're a little bit fancy right now because we have some water. If you have a preference, this is elbow macaroni and tomato sauce. She's doing what she can while waiting for help to arrive. They're saying that maybe we'll have power back on on Friday, but I don't, I don't know how that's possible with the way that it looks out here. Everyday things like washing clothes, washing dishes are just impossible right now. And they're looking at their supplies, counting every item, seeing how long they'll be able to make it before help arrives. Every morning and at night, uh, my husband and I count how many gallons of water do we have left? How many gallons of gas do we have left? How many hours is that? How many days are we okay? With supplies scarce, she says every item is being well, carefully rationed. You can't risk wasting even a couple of gallons of gas in your car because you don't know if when you get to the place that you heard had gas, if it really does. And then you might get there, you might wait three hours in the line, and then they might not have it in gas, and you got to come all the way back, and now you've wasted it. She's hoping help arrives soon, and that eastern Henderson County is not forgotten. Nobody's been out here. This is the first day. So you just feel like nobody cares. It's like a bad movie that you can't get out of. It's a nightmare that you never even had before because it's more than your imagination could have ever come up with. Do you have to cook it? Reporting in Henderson County, I'm Dana Winter for Fox Carolina News.